fans, I'm Robin from Coaching for Geeks, and this is the very first episode of Fix My Twitch, and I've got the fabulous, wonderful streamer, event host, it's Tazzy. Hi, Tazzy. Hello. <laughs> well, how are you Hello, doing everyone. Evening? I'm good, actually. I've had a very chill day uh, just editing and and just chilling. Just, yeah, just had YouTube and stuff on while I'm editing, so yeah. Nice. What a, what a delightful day. It's absolutely tipping it down here. So that's, uh, that's a fun I have no idea what the weather is like outside. <laughs> Not going to lie. <laughs> it's boarded up the windows. <laughs> <laughs> so this is, this is the first episode of Fix My Twitch. It's the chat show where we're going to take this channel from nothing with look look i've it's been painful i've stripped my channel right back and we get, we're gonna fix it up one thing at a time one week at a time until we're uh, the streaming kings of, of the world quite frankly <laughs> so as you can see you've got my crappy background with bits and bobs all over the side we've got no lighting um i will tell you the things that i have i have cheated a little bit i'll tell you where i've cheated in that uh, I'm using a fairly decent headset. Um, I was originally planning to use this chunky old piece of crap, but that's not fair on anybody. Uh, we are using a wired internet connection, uh, so we're not relying on Wi-Fi, whilst other people are using the connection. And I have got a second screen to run uh, Stream Manager. But beyond that, no lighting, no fancy effects. We're using the webcam built into the laptop. Um, and look at the state of my background. We've done very little marketing or promotion. My, if you land on my channel, there's fuck all there. And it, doesn't, it doesn't even tell you where my website is, where to follow me on social media. There's nothing. So you go don't know who you are. Uh, who am I? Who even am I? I don't know. I don't know if I'm lucky. Or unlucky to be the first person because there's lots to choose from, but then that's also a problem. <laughs> yeah, there is a lot to choose from. And if you're in the audience as well watching us this evening, um, you, then perhaps there'll be an opportunity for you to choose something for me to fix as well. Uh, but first, this 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 part isn't about me. This part's about you, Tazzy. Um, me? When, yeah, <laughs> let's talk about you. When did when did you first uh, stream into the into the in, out into oh. the world? I mean, it's a very big question. Uh, my first like first ever like technically first ever stream on Twitch was like like five or six years ago now and I'm it's crazy to actually think about that um and I was just streaming from my lovely Halo Xbox uh had my connect plugged in I streamed Destiny 1 Taken King that's that's the benchmark for when I started streaming my first ever stream on Twitch was Taken King on Destiny so it just come out um and it was terrible like you're already doing better than me so uh take some win um you're still you're already doing like better than me in like my second third year um <laughs> <laughs> but it's progress every every like streaming is is not like a it's not a race it's not it's not a marathon wait no it is it is a marathon <laughs> it's not a sprint I mean, you can't chuck all your money at it right at the start and buy all the yeah. best, get the, all the best kit and gear. But what if, what if, what if you don't like it? What if you buy something that doesn't suit your setup? There's no point, yeah. is there? Just yeah, there's like a, a thousand ways you can have a setup. There's a thousand ways you can stream. Like gear is definitely not the most important thing. Uh, and I think like the only things that are really, really important is like having a stable internet connection is like the number one thing. And even if you don't, even if you don't, you can still like stream, just do it. Like, I mean, there's, you just start and it just happens. You figure out what you like, you figure out what you need. Um, I've definitely made some like purchasing mistakes in like, shouldn't have probably bought that uh probably should have gone for something else duh, duh, duh. but 
and that was let me let me turn off that's that's a you can fix that <laughs> about me uh my twitch definitely needs a lot of fixing all the time but uh it's fun of being a streamer so <laughs> But no, yeah, that was like my first ever stream. And then we went on a journey and I like stopped for a while because my internet connection there was terrible. Um, and then when I moved to Wales, we made sure that I had like super duper, duper amazing broadband um, and then started streaming from my Xbox again. And it was great. Uh, and then I got a, a PC uh, to stream from with a capture card. Uh, Cause I did, I used to have my Mac and I couldn't use my capture card with my Mac cause it was too old. It just did not run. <laughs> It was awful. So I finally got a PC and then I've just like snowballed into to like my setup today, uh, which I'm very, very grateful for and lucky to have because to be honest, most of my setup is gifted. Uh, like my, I'm surrounded by very supportive people. Even my laptop, my laptop, even, yeah, I have a laptop now as well. So that, that was a present. But even my computer that I got, and built, I built it myself because I was very excited to do that. I wanted to say, put my own, lap, my own uh, PC. Nice. Um, that was money that my uh, late nan, rest in peace, actually gave me uh, because she knew I wanted a new computer. And she just, she had no idea what I was doing. She was just like, I've heard you need something. <laughs> and uh, I've heard this is about how much money you need for it. So here's some money and I hope for you it helps you out and like totally clueless like my nan didn't even know like the tv was the most technology for her that was it like she had a landline she didn't even like having like a cordless one <laughs> <laughs> like no technology uh and when i told her i built my pc she was like oh my god you're a genius <laughs> oh, what a legacy to leave though to give you that, yeah. that money that's enabled you to get into your, your streaming career which has also led into of course you you hosting events with yeah. gamepad of course yeah exactly so i mean i've had a journey just for content creation in general like for me live streaming was easy to get into like on twitch and doing gaming because when i was younger there was a website called ustream don't know if you've heard of it uh, it's now like a business thing i think it's owned by ibm um but uh it used to just be a free site and me and my best friend would just hop on there and click go live and just be silly and we've always like i've always been around cameras uh like home videos photography studied photography like cameras are just my thing and being around <laughs> so it's just so easy to hit that go live for for gaming stuff because i love gaming and i like cameras and being in front of it and talking a lot <laughs> i don't know if you've noticed <laughs> <laughs> well um speaking of gaming we haven't actually decided what we're going to play this evening what you're going to thrash me at uh we've got i believe golf with your friends was something you suggested and gang yeah i got that got gang gone blah, 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 blah. Shall, we, shall we start I with got... something gentle then with golf with your friends i uh, don't yeah if you... You, like I'm so glad swearing's okay on this channel because yeah, go for friends. Uh, Cut yeah, yeah. And fuck bungles. Say, say what there's you like. Some, some foul language out of my mouth playing this game. Excellent. Well, I've never played it before, so, <laughs> so that's fine. So hi to our lovely audience uh, who are out there this evening. If you've got any questions for Tazzy, for myself, about streaming, about your own uh, setup, about uh, growing your confidence on Cam, about choosing what to play, um, let us know uh, and we can we can ask them as, as, as I get destroyed at golf. I don't know if you're going to destroy right, it. This, this is where we have to do a little bit of, oh shit, I've got to fiddle with stream labs. And, uh, <laughs> Right there. <laughs> there. Hey. I've got an update. <laughs> <laughs> hey. right, I have so. very fast internet, uh, so it should only take a couple of minutes. So that's, um, <laughs> that's one of the lessons then, perhaps, uh, is to uh, update your game. <laughs> Yeah, to be fair, I didn't know we was going to play Girlfriend Friends. I thought no. I had everything updated. And, no, that uh... one, that one. 
<laughs> so, uh, but be it part of being a streamer is dealing with those technical uh, issues as they crop up and just rolling with it. Uh, yeah, a hundred percent. But I was late to the meeting because the, shop, the shopping arrived, so I was fiddling around with the radio <laughs> of at the very last second, going, "Why won't it find my camera?" Um, this always works. Discord couldn't find my camera. Um, that's because I had a, an instance of Zoom still open in the background somewhere. So. I um actually here's a free top tip for anyone. Um, especially when I got my new setup that I have at the moment. I have like a mic. I have like a fancy webcam, and like I've got all this stuff um going on. Um, and I often would forget really basic things i mean i still do but less often now like having my mic uh plugged in <laughs> or not <laughs> muted <laughs> and having like the webcam on and like really simple stuff like having your audio levels uh having the get like the console i'm going to be playing on plugged in all these little things um even down to like changing the game title i basically i had a checklist and I don't refer to it as much now because I'm lazy. Uh, <laughs> but it really did help me get into a routine. Mm -hmm. um, so I like created that checklist. I sat there and I thought, what do I need to go live? And every time something went wrong, I added to that checklist. Like, what do I need to check? What frequently doesn't work? Uh, and updating <laughs> OBS, my Xbox. Like everything is generally something I do beforehand. Um, I mean, being a variety streamer and someone that like doesn't necessarily play, like plan to play a game, uh, doesn't always, it's not always like relevant, um, but I at least make sure that like my Xbox is up to date and Steam is up to date, like things that I could be hot playing on. Uh, I mean, stuff still happens, but it's very useful just to have that checklist and until you get into like the routine of things, uh, it massively like helped me and helped with my confidence with it as well because i was like i got this i've got a checklist <laughs> uh, uh, is, do you think there's a standard checklist that most streamers could use or is it very unique to uh, each individual in their own setup and what, what their stream is like um i think there's like a standard one that you could kind of base yours off um there's definitely things that like most streamers will have uh like mic, webcam, sound, game. Whatever game is to you, like game could be your capture card or if you're streaming just on PC, it could just be like the game capture or whatever. But that that's like, they're the basics. Yeah. As I've guess. been experimenting with a few different uh, broadcast bits of software. So we've tried OBS, uh, Streamlabs, OBS, uh, Twitch, Twitch Studio uh, to see what's what's the simplest setup for everyone. And bloody hell, Twitch Studio does not like finding the game at all. You have to be very, very specific with it. Like, come on, it's right, it's right. There. It's like, no, you have to tell me. It's it's the it's the big window that I've just put. No, tell me specifically what game this is. And oh, then, wow. then I will broadcast it. Like, cheers. Whereas Streamlabs, uh, it finds the game screen pretty quickly. Um, okay. Yeah. There you go. Play that. I definitely, uh, I've, I think, have I tried Twitch Studio? I don't think I have. I've tried like Streamlabs OBS, uh, Streamlabs Studio, Streamlabs Live, uh, all the Streamlabs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, all the OBS, sorry. Uh, and I've also tried XSplit before because that came with my graphics card like a year's worth or something. Uh, and I have to say, at the moment, OBS Live is my favourite. Uh, why? What features does it have that <laughs> makes stand out for you? Uh, it can't just be like, I like the icons and they're easy to click, which is a, a reason that I quite often go for a piece of software. Yeah, um, definitely like user interface is a big one. So I used to use Streamlabs for everything. Um, and then like when Streamlabs OBS came out, I started using that, but my computer did not get on with it. Uh, 
uh, it really slowed it down. And I know like some people get that issue and some people have the opposite issue. Like it's, computers are so finicky. Like (laughs) everyone is different. This is a relatively new gaming laptop. Um, If I run Chrome, it will crash and I'll have to reinstall Windows. Why? Unknown store error. Um, What? Uh, So... There's just so many like combinations, you know, so, um, so yeah, that's one of the reasons. Uh, so I had to go back to like OBS studio and then I found out about OBS live and I was like, huh, so I can have like my chat up in OBS and have like all these cool fun features, like your alerts, da, 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 da. Um, and at that point there was just some stuff about Streamlabs that I was like, just getting annoyed with. And, um, personally, like my thing is I like, I spend well, we're in lockdown, but I like to spend time around my partner's house and I want to start doing more streams, like live events. So I need my setup to be as like transportable as possible. And with streamer elements, the all your overlays and stuff are online okay. and all your alerts, like you, you can have the whole full setup, overlay, alert, everything just with one URL. So it means I don't have to worry about like, getting all the different ones and putting them in OBS and da, da, da. Uh, So that's the main reasons. Um, but I just like, yeah, I like the interface a lot. That sounds great. So, because like you, I do uh, a lot of events and it's a nightmare when I've turned up with my Mac, gone, right, everything is ready to go. And they go, oh, we can't plug a Mac in. But but I spoke with your events team. They promised me there's always a cable. Oh no, you can you can you uh-huh. read, can you download it onto our clunking old PC and convert uh-huh. it? I'm like, but I've done it in in Mac software. No. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> all my assets are like yeah. here, and yeah. So that's one of the reasons is I you can do like a single overlay and have all your alerts on it, your webcam, like your webcam outlay thing, whatever you've got, you can set online. So I have that along with like Google Drive. And I'm like, someone could like kidnap me. And <laughs> please don't kidnap me. But someone could kidnap me and like punk me on a computer and go stream. And all I have to do is like download OBS Live and nice. no one would know. Top tip. <laughs> from Tucker. Um, CJ the Geek says, yeah, you can't tr- trust stage teams. Haha. <laughs> CJ does uh, the live stage at MCM Comic Con, so he, he knows what's what. I'm not saying it was oh, any of... Um, it, haven't we, any... CJ? I, I, believe, I believe we've emailed. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Um, I, I am, like, good to game, by the way. It's oh, been running cool. for us. Um, let's just check the chat. Uh, CJ also says, "Tip one: expect things to go tits up if working with Robin the funniest <laughs> way." Thanks, <laughs> CJ. Um, and thanks for the cheers there, Polo Mars, as well. That's lovely. I don't think I've ever been cheered up before. Don't really know what it means, but I like it. Let's play <laughs> a game. What a cheers, Tazzy! You've been doing this for longer than me. Um, cheers are like comp comp comprised yeah that's a word comprised of bits like so singular bits uh so you can cheer using your bits and they're kind of like the best the best way to explain them and i think twitch doesn't like this but hey ho um is they're like donating but free twitch's system <laughs> <laughs> so they get to cream off a little bit <laughs> yeah um but they're great because there's loads of ways that they like interact with stream if you give enough if you cheer it enough bits, uh, you get a little badge next to your name. There's also like a, a leaderboard that pops up at the top of Yeah, there's loads of fun ways. Yeah. They're fun. And there's different there's different bits you can cheer with. So like different emote type things. Um, which is a lot of fun. I like I like bits. I like cheering like going in other people's things and I'm like, yay! Cause you can have like one bit. The amount of times I've gone thing like, oh I've got like two bits left. I'm like I'm gonna use them anyway. <laughs> it's two bits. <laughs> but if you were to like donate two p, like you'd be a, like it'd feel a bit. Uh. <laughs> yeah, uh, but 
but a donated two bits is very different, right? Yeah, they're yeah. still fun. Like one bit has like some animated and most like yeah. Yeah, we've had some some lovely triangles that are spinning around. Thank you, Polo Mars eighty three. I guess these are the default ones. I, yeah, I, they're I like do no more than I'm letting on here. Just like so. um, uh, you need to accept <laughs> my friend request on Steam. I think so. That oh. I you to my yeah, request. that would um, be great. Uh, yeah, CJ has he met you. So that's nice. <laughs> Except there we go. All right. I am strife. My Uh, uh, how do I do this? <laughs> um, <laughs> there we go. Shift and tab, I think, for Steve. <laughs> We're uh, super professional here. Uh, so let's so. switch to the oh. setup. We might need to move the move our faces because we might be in the way of some pinging balls. Maybe up there, that might be better. Let us know if our faces are in the way of the balls, folks, and we'll. <laughs> <laughs> what course would you like? Oh, oh. Forest Haunted Oasis Space Station. Museum. Honestly, I don't mind. I'm terrible at all of them. Let's go simple with a forest. A classic forest. Great. Um, good. I don't know how this works. I don't know if people will be able to see your, your shots or what. This is all new to me. How would uh, you go about if you were playing a game that was online mm -hmm. to one stream? How would you go about showing everyone's screens? Oh, well, that's I'm not the best person to ask oh, that. Okay. <laughs> right, this is my first shot. Oh. Have we got um, collision on? Do you know? I have no idea. It's classic. <laughs> hey, get your balls out of Oh, part! This is the best I've ever played <laughs> Golf with Friends. So, like, someone clip that. <laughs> I bogeyed. So, it's turned around. Are we starting from the same spot? Yeah. I think collision's off. I feel like. Me too, <gasps> oh, uh... that was me. Oh, holy man. No, no, I love playing like this because uh, then I don't rage so much. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't actually played golf with friends for like uh, over a year. Oh, wow. Hi there, uh, first person show. We're just having a little Hello. Ride. Tassies off down the uh, barrel of doom. I don't know if I've done that right though. I don't even. There is a way you can check the course beforehand, but I'm just kind of winging it, you know. Oh, no. oh, 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 yeah. oh, yay, bogey! Um, yeah, I have some hilarious memories playing this game uh, with a bunch of people uh, with all the crazy settings. This game has some crazy settings you can apply. Yeah, collision. You can play with not balls. You can play with all. Yeah, you can play with all different shapes and sizes. Uh, <laughs> uh, how do you manage uh, interacting with chat when you're playing games? We've um, hi there, first person Shane. Uh, you're in Western Canada, so it's a good day there. Well, thanks for joining Ooh, us. Canada! Which is it cold there? Yeah, how cold is Are you in, like, the moose part? Or... I got... <laughs> Did you just hold one? I don't believe it. I've got a friend in uh, Nova Scotia. I'd love to visit Canada one day. I want to go Canada and go snowboarding because I've heard uh, Canada's good for snowboarding from uh, an old friend that uh, uh, grew up in Canada. 
I went into the water. I see it. Oh, poop. Don't talk. Now, but I've come back. And it's the water again. Oh, this is a hard. Okay, I managed to get on the other side, and I'm oh, proud of that. Alberta faced the first snowfall of the season last weekend. Oh, oh yes, double bogey. Um, I feel like oh. I'm on. Oh, you can jump when you're Oh yeah, I forgot there was a jump in this game. Uh, I'm watching from Bogey. London and London. Ooh. I'm also in London, so... What's up? Um, yeah, how do you manage chat and yeah, streaming? Yeah, chat and gaming at the same time. Uh, how, how do you handle that? Because your attention has to be in a few places at once. Um, Very badly? <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, at least I feel like it's it's a practice thing. Um, like mini goals. <laughs> I've I'm, I'm had a lot of practice and I'm still not perfect, so I think I've been like lying to us about that. Oh, lots of people in chat. I'm not a fan of golf, but I enjoy mini golf. Yeah, same. Not that I've ever actually played golf, ever. Even though, like, my dad loves golf. <laughs> Never played, like, actual golf. Been to a driving range once for the first time, uh, like, last year. Driving um, ranges are great for just get out they of are. Uh, aggression. They're like how with boxing, like you can get out. Where is what is this course? Uh, but like with a golf club instead. Um, <laughs> um, Quite a lot as he uh, as he got on well. He had all his golfing buddies. Oh, that's so nice. I feel like it is something that you can sort of continue to do quite quite later on in life because it like it can be like quite gentle rather than you know a, a really uh, what's the word? It's not like rugby, is it? It's yeah. <laughs> And you can tag along with your mates as well. So. Hey, there you go. I got there in the end. Eight. Ew, London up north is where it's at. Oh my god. No. <laughs> well, I'm down on the south coast now. What? What is this course? Oh, oh my oh, god. I've got onto the next course, I think. No, I think that's. Yeah, no, yeah maybe. <gasps> Was that another hole in one? An accidental hole, hole in one. Yeah, where is everyone from? Okay, so we've got North, we got Western Canada, oh, Viva La Scotland. Scotland <laughs> 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 um, yeah. Nice mix. I will answer this question at some point as well. Uh, I'm just. Uh, Golfing, too busy golfing. The question about how do you interact with chat? Well. Yes. Yeah. Hey, um, oh, 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 come on. No, don't go off that. Oh. I can't even hit the ball because these spinny things are just. <laughs> I suppose they're helping me, I think. I don't know. I don't actually know how many times I've Spun tapped it. Like oh, yeah. Uh. But yeah, gaming, gaming in chat is like, um, I'm a very distracted person as it is. So um, I can't keep up with my conversations with myself. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a lot of, wait, what are you talking about? When I'm like <laughs> interacting with chat. Um, but my chat finds it hilarious. So yeah, but it is, it's like a, a lot of practice training yourself to like look over every now and again. Um, and depending on what kind of game you're playing, that can look very different. Um, like if I'm on, say, oh, I went off the track. If I'm on like something like COD or like any first person shooter where it's very intense uh, and kind of like need to be focused in that moment, um, then I'll wait, you know, until it's between rounds or 
I feel like I'm safe enough that I'm not gonna get shot in the face uh, and I can have a quick glance at chat. Um, similar with like driving games or like certain games have very intense moments that you have to concentrate otherwise you will die. <laughs> Um, and I just wait until like the the quieter moments. Um... Yeah, I think if if we can make it work, we're gonna we're gonna play split second, and that's not a game where you can stop focusing on what's going on. Yeah, and I've also <laughs> learned to. Lo <laughs> Sorry. You went far. <laughs> where are you going? You're trying to get to Scotland, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to go and visit Cage Finland. I actually, want, I actually need to go up to Scotland when when I can um, visit visit my family, visit my cousins. Because uh, I've been saying I would do that for a, for a long time, and there's always an excuse. And this lockdown has made me realise that fuck excuses. You know, you just got to hitchhike if you got. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I've also learned that like Twitch chat, uh, it's kind of like. I don't, I, I, I'm not great at games anyway, so Twitch chat is just like an excuse to be even worse at them. <laughs> um, but like, I, I don't, if, I'm, I'm streaming because I want to interact with people, right? Yeah. Oh, damn it, I ran out of shots. You're not, you're not just there <laughs> to play games while people watch. Yeah, I like, I want to, I want to interact with people. I want to enjoy the games with people. Um, so... I don't mind failing for for the sake of chat. Like uh, we both just failed. Today. Yeah, and <laughs> I, it's a hundred percent because we're like trying to keep up with chat and um, and, and nothing to do with skill at all. Yeah, like, no, it's we're really a, yeah. High, high skill <laughs> play going on here. We'll be in the. Uh, it's gonna be a tournament. Oh, oh! Oh, it's a fancy way that you went. Oh, a birdie! Oh. Um, you're welcome anytime. Oh, Dundee oh. drag scene! I want to nice. check that out. Yes, I will come and see the Dundee drag scene. I hopefully see you perform as well. Uh, first person, Shane's got some questions. And Love to hear them. Yes. Um, Let's do first, that. <laughs> first up, uh, I have a Yeti mic and it works very well for recording, but I always have audio issues with Discord. What can I do to sort it out? There's lots of reasons. Yeah. What sort of um, audio issues do you have? Um, if it, let, let, give us a little bit more. Um, we'll see what we can do. Is it crackling? Is it cutting out? Also wonder about ways to promote my stream and help me get viewers. Ah, this was something I was going to call to you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, how do you get more viewers? How do you get more viewers? Um, yeah, I'd like to know the answers to that. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, there are, I do know a lot of ways. I'm just very lazy. Uh, so don't be like me. Don't be lazy. Uh, <laughs> Um, but one of the main reasons, main reasons, main things you need to do to get more viewers on Twitch is to cross promote. Like, and this is something that is not just me saying it. Like, if you watch any like how to gain views on on Twitch, I'm never gonna get past this level. I'm just gonna. Oh, you can do it. Bit of a, what a life coach. <laughs> bit of self belief here. Um. Like, they all tell you the same thing. The The trick is to, like, Twitch has, like, a really poopy discovery. Uh, it's improving. They are, like, doing stuff to improve it. Um, but it's not really the place to get discovered. You want to you wanna make yourself discoverable on other platforms that are more, like, friendly to discoverability. Um, so... Uh, I finally done it. Sorry. <laughs> so my like, my main pla my main other platform would probably be Instagram because I'm really into uh, my fashion, my knee high socks, 
uh, and it's just a platform I've always been on and I'm like I love photography and things so I tend to just like post regular pictures on there not so much lately uh, everything changes in lockdown so <laughs> um, but that for me is like a place where I tend to uh, people tend to discover discover me they like they like what they see I guess that's not how I meant it <laughs> <laughs> Oh um, no, don't fall back down there. Back. Oh. Back. Oh. This I don't like these corners. I'm so glad we're talking about like other stuff because I've been like really getting angry. I think um, my advice to a lot of streamers is you stream too much and you promote not enough. Too little. Yeah, yeah. 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 So Definitely. Spend a little bit of the time that you spend streaming and, and use that to create. Oh, stuff you! For. No, wrong hole. <laughs> I don't want to go down that hole. Um, yeah, don't like spring up the palm. Oh, fuck off, don't, you don't, stupid hole. Don't go hole. down there again. Uh, YouTube is also a great place. Uh, posting, like, I don't do this enough, but I know when I, when I have posted videos on YouTube, my Twitch, like, people find them on Twitch. And stuff. Um, people find... Yeah. People will find me on Twitch like pretty instantly. Uh, Yay! And, and so it really is like, especially like make video, you don't even have to make new video content. Um, you can just upload like Twitch clips to YouTube, Twitter, Instagram. Like these things really help. Um, and I'm saying this as someone that, that like really should listen to her own advice. Cause I know whenever I do these things, people discover me, right? Um, so, yeah, that it, it literally is. It's as simple as just reposting your stuff. Uh, but do what you love, whatever makes you happy. Like, finding the balance uh, between the, the... I actually done well on that one. <laughs> finding the balance between the content you enjoy making and uh, the content you need to make can be really hard and that's something I personally struggle with because uh, I'm like oh, I know this stuff will like really promote my Twitch stream but uh, oh, you went a cool way I didn't know that was there I thought I was trying to get down the middle bit yeah. oh well um, and it is it's just and it's discovering like what's unique to you um, um, first person change has got a good following on their Facebook gaming page. I think I might request they also follow my Twitch. Yeah, absolutely do. You've got uh, a waiting audience there who know who you are and what you're about, so make use of it. I've got quite a big following on Twitter, uh, and I've got a uh, Facebook group with about one and a half thousand people um, on my website gets. Hey, we've just done our first 10,000 hit month, which is nice. Ooh, um, I'm nice. really struggling to get in this hole. Um, that's literally what she said. Sorry. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to make the same joke, so... Uh, and I was like, oh, it was so close! It was so close! One oh, it was... Uh, yeah, uh, there we go. Oh, no! I've overshot. One thing I recommend streamers do is um, grow an email list. Oh, okay. Because then you've got... Oh, fuck. <laughs> then you've got... You can email them when you go live. You can tell them what your schedule is and you can give you just like little giveaways, Steam codes. Um, you can keep in touch with them. And then if you lose your, your Facebook account, your Instagram account, your Twitter, whatever way, you get to them. You've got them there. You can still get in touch with them. I recommend that to yeah. everybody. No matter what and also, um, don't be afraid to promote yourself, which... Or remember to like I just forget I'm like oh yeah and by the way I do all this cool stuff uh, <laughs> like cross like promote yourself if you're if you're making content on YouTube say follow me on Twitch follow me on all, all my socials and stuff like that also what really helps with that is uh, I managed to get down hey. um, what really helps with that also is uh, having the same username and or similar because you know, we all know someone steals your username because that's happened to me. Um, <laughs> but just characters on Twitter for me to approach 
Yeah, but just something something that's recognizable, having like branding um, across your platforms really helps. Like even though my username is not T A double Z triple I across everything, uh, it's either that or I add an X on the edge. So it's still kind of me and I'm very clearly like, I have my own photo uh, as my display picture. I personally post lots of pictures of myself. So it's very clearly me. Um, I'm really into knee high socks. So if you really couldn't recognize my face, you'd be like, it's the girl in the knee high socks. Uh, <laughs> so oh, it's just like- Old socko there. <laughs> <laughs> Let's catch the street. Uh, you want that by the way. Whoop, whoop. By two strokes. Two strokes. Um, two strokes is all it takes. Shane <laughs> is working on <laughs> Wow, you've got some skill. Um, <laughs> Shane is working on doing more with the YouTube channel. Might even start multi-streaming there as well. Thank you for the advice. I've also heard it's good to host your friends, so I'm hosting this stream now. Oh, thank you very much. That's very kind of you. Um, hosting, yeah, I need to host. <laughs> hosting is a lovely thing to do for people if you like their content. Uh, and it helps you build uh, your network, it helps you build rapport with people. Uh, yeah. And there's you know, the psychology of reciprocity, where if you do something nice for someone, they feel like they should do something nice for you too. Nice, so yeah. chances are, if I'm not following you, you're going to get a follow. You're going to get, yeah, I'm going to check out your content. I'm going to see what you're about. Um, yeah. yeah. Collaborations as well. Like what's happening here. Yeah. This exposes my audience to you and, and your audience to me. Yeah. Um, uh, let's just flip back over to this while we have a little chat about it. As it's, don't worry about people stealing your audience people are always going to go where they want to go what was that look yeah for? <laughs> oh no like i have like a whole like aggravation with the whole like people are stealing my audience thing um so like there's twitch etiquette and it's perfectly understandable that this twitch etiquette exists uh but if you ever come over to my stream i don't mind um and it's the idea of like promote like self-promoting and someone else's content you really shouldn't do that it it's a bit tacky yeah. Uh, but definitely if you're already a friend, you're already someone that associates me, like, please feel free to be like, I stream <laughs> because I person, but don't go into other people's streams. Most people are not okay with this. But my thing is if people are going to follow some random person that comes into my stream and is like, I'm streaming now, uh, come watch me. And they go over to that person. I'm not doing a good enough job. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Or it might not be that you're not doing a good enough job. It's your vibe attracts your tribe and people might just yeah. be coming in to have a look, find out who you are, what exactly. you're about. People are going to go where, where, where they go. the best fit. Um, yeah. As long as you're doing the best job for you. Uh, I have people I love and I don't necessarily watch their streams all the time uh, because at that moment in time, I might not be in the mood Uh Obviously, as a content creator myself, a lot of the time I'm very busy making my own content. Uh, and it's very distracting watching uh, someone else's stream when you're trying to edit because you just want to talk to them. Um, so, yeah, there's a lot of, I think there's a lot of things in streaming that you shouldn't get disheartened about. And I think people spend way too much energy on um, and like people stealing people's audiences is one of those things. I'm like, people are just going to go where they want to go and you like don't take it personally uh people watching you and it's hard like I'm saying this as someone that sometimes takes it personally it's gonna happen but you just have to try and keep that in mind and remind yourself it's not personal it's just people are living their lives uh and you know there's a thousand reasons why they might be watching or not watching your con content and you just always have to bear, bear that in mind especially streaming it's live uh, life exists. People shopping <laughs> suddenly <laughs> come to the door. <laughs> you yeah, know. it turns up just when you're about <laughs> to go live and you have to deal with it. And this was something we talked at, um, this is where I plug myself, on stage at EGX last year. I can't believe it was last year where we talked about it. It was actually about YouTubing and what, what happens. Why do people unsubscribe? Why do people unfollow? And you go, well, you know, people, people's lives change. People 
go to prison, people get sick, people people die. It's like, oh no, I've given the audience like an existential crisis about why oh, they're not no. getting enough YouTube followers. But it's true, people have their own lives, and their their life isn't your life, and your life might be streaming, might be creating content, but that's not anybody who who comes mm. into your world. It's not their life. Yeah. Um, Right. And it's good to be grateful for the time that people do spend for you and not be critical of the time that they don't. Mm. Like, it's fine. Like, don't, yeah, it shouldn't, it should never be like a thing on them or you. Uh, just be grateful for the, for the, the time and, and when they are there, because that's what matters. Yeah, be, be grateful to them for, for choosing to spend their free time with you. Yeah, instead, of, like, instead of gaming themselves or watching TV or watching another streamer or yeah they could be binging Netflix and instead they're binging you yeah which is awesome uh right comments what have we got in chat yeah. thanks chat for being so active tonight that's great uh Shane working more on your YouTube channel might even start multi-streaming there as well thanks for the advice uh multi-streaming when you make affiliates you can't multi-stream anymore twitch gets exclusive exclusivity of your content for 24 hours um, you can then push it to other places of course you might yeah. choose not to take affiliate if, when, yeah once you, once you hit that my uh, i actually you know like maybe like six months after taking affiliate i became an affiliate when affiliate was like very new as well um it was like within the first couple of months of it being launched uh and sort of like six months down the line, I was like, hmm, maybe I was too eager with affiliate. Uh, I feel like if you know that you're just streaming, like maybe it depends on your reasons for streaming. If you know you're just, just gonna stream on Twitch, it's fine. If you're like, if your goal for streaming is to reach as many people as possible and to potentially make a career out of it, um and you like i would recommend maybe not grab an affiliate straight away um unless you know that twitch is the place for you and you definitely are never going to go anywhere else like don't take the decision to become affiliate lightly uh yes it's great it's a lot of fun you can get subs you can get emotes you can accept bits you can have polls there's loads of really cool benefits that twitch really want to pull you in with um but like for me I was like oh damn like I actually would have benefited from being able to back when Mixer RIP was still a thing uh stream on Mixer YouTube um and Twitch especially as I'm an Xbox gamer like streaming on Mixer would have been great um but I was tied into being an affiliate and like you can not be an affiliate, but there's all these other things that come with it. And why would you want to not be affiliate after? So definitely, cause it's so easy to become an affiliate. Like don't make that decision lightly. Like think about it. Would your audience, would you benefit more from being able to diversify your audience and maybe experiment with streaming on other platforms? Uh, being able to stream on more platforms at a time. It's different when you hit partner, you can negotiate that. You have a uh, someone you talk to at Twitch. Um, but when you're an affiliate, you're you're still very not small. That's not the word I want to use. It's really hard to find the right word, but you're still like like young. You're still a baby. Yeah. You're still a baby streamer. Like Let's you're like face it. you're you're not gonna be able to send an email to Twitch and go, hey. Hey there, my account partner. At Twitch. Yeah, <laughs> I've got this problem. Can, can we talk about it? Uh, yeah, they're probably just gonna go. No, yeah, delete. unless you're already like a massive brand uh, outside of Twitch, that's not gonna work. That's if you're already. I did. I made the mistake over the summer. Uh, we did a series of uh, basically chat shows, lunchtime chat shows with with various people in the professional development world. Um, we made affiliate and uh, thought fuck it why not uh, but my audience was so used to interacting with me on facebook via like facebook lives and they didn't all come over and it's been a challenge mm. getting them to to make the leap to a different platform because people will stick with what they're comfortable with yeah it's true yeah um so yeah definitely definitely take take a think about that uh my matter. Hello, my matter. I'm going to plug here as well. So, um, the 
the thing that streaming has helped me uh, achieve and is kind of the one of the reasons why I started streaming and making content in general is to like find avenues uh, to be in the creative industry. Um, but with my model, we run a gaming event called Gamepad, uh, which used to be a physical thing, um, um, but for the time being, uh, it's kind of encouraged us to create an online event, Gamepad Online. Um, <laughs> yeah, you drop the link in chat. Don't worry, it should. Uh, it should. Thank you. Without, without and my blessing, my Amada. To, uh, yay. Um. So that we do. Um. We once you know we can commence real life events in in person. We will we will bring those back and then have them going alongside. So we'll have the online event and the physical event. Um happening alongside each other different different times of year um but yeah we we do that we play games we have a friendly fire uh competition uh where we play several different games uh we're introducing some sanity in our next one which is in january the 16th <laughs> yeah, yeah, <it> <laughs> i was having a chat with nigel the other day so i could tell you yeah it's <laughs> Yeah. There's a lot of days running through my head. Days running through my head. Um, and yeah, I'm your host uh, for that. Um, so you, you, if you enjoy me talking, then you get to hear me talk more. Um, and we have like lots of community videos. Um, yeah, yeah, it's really fun. There's lots to learn. The, the thing is, we get we get like, all different people from across the industry. Wait, are you above? Where are you on your um, screen? To the side of you, other way. But uh, yeah, me. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, it's the other way up there. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Um, so yeah, like, and who contribute to the event. And so there's lots to learn as well as being super entertaining and things. But also uh, with my mad, I also help host a podcast, which is something I always wanted to do. I was so happy when I got to, uh, when, when Nigel offered me uh the the position of co-hosts on story x story where we talk about stories <laughs> across <laughs> pop culture um so yeah that's a lot of fun uh check that out we talk one of my favorite episodes is where we talk a about um live die repeat slash i forgot the other name for it oh edge, uh, edge of glory was it edge of tomorrow edge of tomorrow <laughs> I'm um, it with Lady Gaga. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, definitely check that out. But it's a good opportunity. Like that's what I, one of the reasons. Like I wanted to like improve my skills and improve talking and improve loads of different things. Um, and I've kind of, I really actually don't realize that I've kind of achieved the things I kind of wanted to achieve from streaming when I first initially set out. Um, so yeah, it can really open up opportunities. So again, like don't. It's another thing, like, don't worry about numbers. I always get caught up in numbers, uh, but so I like looking at analytics. It's, it's like it's the, one of the most yeah. tangible metrics you get. Yeah, it's yeah, so exactly. Um, but, yeah, don't worry about the numbers because there's so many things that can come to you regardless of numbers just by being skilled. Uh, so focus less on numbers and focus more on improving your skills. Uh, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll get there. I hope. And hope. improving your stream one thing at a time. We'll yes. How long have I got you for? Sorry, we didn't chat. How, how long have you been? Uh, how long do you want me? Until we run out of steam. Um, so... <laughs> <laughs> we'll yeah. um, hey, Unreal Thresh, thanks for, thanks for joining Hello. us. Hello. Um... And Adam Brown, thanks for joining us this evening. Um, for you mate because i know who that is uh i know that you want to do coaching via streaming and you would probably start off by as we talked before uh multi-streaming to lots of different platforms so that you can find out where your audience is rather than taking affiliate straight away mm. Mm. is there any any other questions that i've missed um, i've kind of like been skimming at chat but uh, my matter <laughs> says don't worry about over promoting as long as you do it the right way you're more likely to be under promoted yeah definitely oh Especially big time places like twitter it's so um like transient it's it's if you're not there when it happens it's gone mm. um the facebook you've got it and, and with the instagram as well 
you've got to get that engagement right away or it just disappears into the ego. And, and learn like there's two things you need to learn with social media in general uh is your audience what your audience likes and what that platform likes so um there are constant debates on what streamers should and shouldn't do. Da, 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 da. Everything that I ever say is only a tip and it won't necessarily work or not work for you. I'm only saying from my own experience and the experience of, around me, but literally everyone is different. Like social media is this crazy thing that's so like constantly changing. And like, I've gr literally grown up with it. As I've grown, it's grown. Like I've, we're synonymous <laughs> tazzy and uh, like it's just a thing um and so much has changed so many different things things that worked for me like last year no longer work for me uh and you just gotta do like whatever you choose to do and whatever you think you should do like you just have to do one but yeah like learning about what works for your audience and what works for that platform like every platform has a different style um, like Twitter is like in the moment, constant input. Like I always sort of uh, have this analogy of Twitter is like the pub. Uh, and it's like standing at the bar at a pub where loads of people are talking and you can jump into any of those conversations at any point, or you can just like start a random conversation and someone will start talking to you. Uh, and, and that's kind of like what Twitter is. You just kind of put it out there and people will chime in. It's like a big party or a bar or something where everyone's kind of mingling and, and uh, jumping in a conversation, but then they get distracted by someone coming in with shots. Uh, can you tell I miss the outside world? <laughs> <laughs> I saw you tweeting earlier. Like, I want to have a night out where my catchphrase is, hey, shots. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then Instagram is visual. Uh, and then you also have like on Instagram, you've got your feed and your story. Stories is a bit like a visual Twitter uh, where you can kind of like blast a lot on there. Not too much. That gets really annoying if you're always the first person on the top of my my uh, stories. I generally like mute people. if they. <laughs> but, you know, it depends. Your audience, audience might want to hear from you every two seconds. Um, and then like your feed is normally uh, less frequent but still very, still like at least sort of like daily as I've found daily posting on it. Actually, no, that's changed. Again, it always changes. <laughs> but, you know, like re somewhat regular posting on there uh, with visual, good looking visual content. Um, and the caption is like secondary. <laughs> right. Um, so, yeah. And then like, YouTube has all its different algorithms. Facebook, I haven't used for years, so God knows what's going on there at the moment. Um, but they're all very different. Like, uh, last time I used Facebook, people just like it when you moan about stuff. So, <laughs> I don't know if that's still a thing. Um, but yeah, it's definitely like just knowing that and knowing your audience. So some people have like said, oh, going live tweets don't work. Uh, but when I don't do a going live tweet, um, no one's about where you at. I'm like, where my peeps at? <laughs> yeah, it's just another way of letting people know. And when yeah. you're doing that via your Discord, sending them an email. Uh, you, uh, and then yeah. people have a WhatsApp group for just general chat and they send a wow. message out. Uh, yeah. Crazy. So just figuring out, you just got to do everything. And, uh, you know, what, what's the phrase where you throw, throw is it you throw the chair at the wall and, wall see, what and see what sticks? <laughs> Uh, but yeah and as well like you gotta go do what you do because if you hate doing it like social media is the thing if you really hate posting a certain way uh, it's never gonna last yeah and if you can if you start making money from streaming then the bits that you don't like doing hire someone to do it for you oh yeah i cannot wait to hire an accountant i swear to god <laughs> i have a community manager for my facebook group who's starting to get more involved in this stuff just because she wants to learn the skills I'm like no yeah no, She's like, no I'll give me the software i want to play I'm like fine, <laughs> fine go wild meredith <laughs> do it do it yeah uh like mods as well can be be a great help yeah uh, i haven't got a mod yet this is all this is the 
Wild West. You can <laughs> type all my stuff. Let's let's try typing some rude words and see what happens. So you can type tits. Uh, Love a good pair of tits. <laughs> I like a super boob. Um, it's like all the tits is one. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Try typing some swears in the in in the chat, folks. See what it see what see what happens. Catches. Um, I think Shane came back though with uh, what's up with his mic? I saw it. Oh somewhere. yes. Uh, its Doesn't voice always seems to cut out when I'm speaking. Is that just on Discord then? Just on uh, Discord. Is that what... um, um, lots of reasons that could happen. <laughs> One of the main reasons I find it being is Discord settings. Um, what is it? Is it gay? What is it called? Is it, um, sensitivity. Yeah, so your sensitivity on there, uh, uber important. Um, set it manually. <laughs> If you're having issues with like mic cutting out frequently, set it manually because it does have an auto feature, but some mics it doesn't work well with. Like when I'm on desktop using my mic, normally fine. Uh, if I use it on iPhone, uh, it just never works. No one can ever hear me. Um, so yeah, like manu like just go in there. I always have issues with mics just on everything. Like I constantly have issues uh, with getting the right settings. Um, to see my voice and da da da, uh, but I've had that one a lot. And um, yeah, just just play around with your settings. It's probably the issue. It's probably not a mic issue. I've also checked for interference. I had problems with my MacBook that the USB input was right next to the power input, and that really interfered with it. Oh yeah. Go and have a yeah, play and uh, see what you can. Uh, got a fiddle. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what one of uh, if your CPU might... is being overloaded? If you're running your encoding through the CPU, that can that can be an issue. Sorry, I mm. spoke over you. That no, no, I was just going to say a lot of like streaming stuff is just like playing around with stuff and seeing what works. <laughs> like just <laughs> best streaming advice: play around and see what works <laughs> with everything. What fixes it? <laughs> It applies to like literally every part of streaming. <laughs> like earlier when I couldn't get my camera working, it's like yeah. <laughs> closing windows and opening them up again and picking different inputs. And go, please, please buy what you work. <laughs> um, should we have another little round of golf. Yes. Uh, do you want to? Do you want to have a fiddle with the settings? Oh, why does it reset my, my ball? Mode. I had a very... Hockey? Spawn position? Collision mode. We want some collision on. Want oh, yeah. Pa Power-ups. Oh, my God. I'm just... Oh, my... Let's this is going to be crazy. Share, share the window so fine folks at home can see. I don't know what any of these settings mean. Oh my god, I have like an Alice in Wonderland ball. Ball shape. <laughs> Do we want a random ball? We can't have a random ball. Ball shape random. Okay. Ball shape <laughs> random each or all. I don't know what that means, but um shane says i'll try fiddling with discord audio settings and see if that fixes the problem thanks so much for doing this i used to get really discouraged when i had tech issues but now i learned to fix them and push forward is always glad to help and advice yeah tech issues is like people think you can just be a streamer and just stream like your tech issues is like roll one <laughs> of streaming <laughs> they happen so frequently there's so many like things that go into streaming so if one thing messes up it might like just mess everything else up so just get comfortable with being uncomfortable <laughs> and uh yeah yeah like i have tech issues every day and it discourages me sometimes like i'm just like oh can everything just freaking work for once um but it doesn't alas uh i have to power through 
Um, and I don't know a streamer that doesn't have issues with tech. And sometimes the issue is you forgot to unmute your mic. <laughs> 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 happens to happens to everyone. I've seen literally like you know those top top streamers that have like the gazillion views uh, are on front page and everything, and uh, they still have have some issues. So, uh, Cage Crinoline's laptop is a bit ancient and shitty. Uh, Going to upgrade to a swanky computer at some point next year. Do you think it's worth holding out for the better computer to save myself the headache, or just go for it now? I'm a cone. <laughs> I'm a cone with a hat <laughs> with butt plugs. <laughs> what I is that random thing? Oh my hit. god! Got a, oh, it made me got a power jump. up, double jump. Oh my god! This. Oh my god! Fucking... You've frozen me. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I would I can't say get it in. Get it in. <laughs> there you go. Wow, Tazzy. Big 11. I would say, Cage Crinoline, just go for it. Um, you can upgrade your kit later. Oh my God, we're little stars. Star. That's adorable. Uh, you can upgrade your <laughs> kit as you go. For now, just find out if if you like streaming. If, if, there's, if, if there's anything else that you need first, like lighting or some a green screen as you might be about to tell me i need or anything else so oh we've gone to the forest again i should have picked a different level i'm so sorry um oh are we bald again though back to being balls yeah oh nearly made the oh we're like <gasps> i think we're ball balls we're christmasy oh yeah we've got a little hanging thing so yeah, go for it, Kate uh, Brindlin. You don't need a swanky computer. You just need the basics. When I was streaming over the summer, yeah. I was using my 2014 MacBook Air, which is barely clinging on to life. I mean, like I was saying earlier, my first first ever stream was uh, from my Xbox, just with the Connect. And I know plenty of people who who are still, you know, like streaming with their native console. Like I have a PlayStation camera and that. Because uh, the first thing that you do need to figure out, like what, not just if you like streaming, but what you like about streaming, because that can really affect which tech you need. The same tech is not suitable for everyone. We're acorns. I'm sorry. I just need to say we're... Oh, look, acorns. Oh, they're really terrible at like rolling. Oh, I don't know what these. The power up. How do we use... <gasps> oh, that was a waste, wasn't it? Oh, my God. What the... So I'd love like to know what you're going to be streaming, uh, Cage Crinoline, because I know what you do. Uh, so I'm interested in... And I imagine everyone else would be interested in knowing a bit more about it too. Uh, first question, yeah. Shane's got an another question for us. Uh, the next yes. big goal for streaming is to get a good camera both for face cam and to do non-gaming streams. Any recommendations? I've got a couple, but what do you reckon, Tazzy? Um, so... Fuck. That guy. I'm, I'm, I'm a goose. I'm... Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm someone like who... Re I just want things to be as simple as possible. Like... Oh, oh. So, oh my God, no, I'm a little teacup. And um, so I just have, I have two separate cameras to be fair, but I also do photography. So it's very different. Um, so I don't really have like a recommendation for that. By non-gaming streams, do you mean you're still like nothing? Still... Like just chatting kind of streams, yeah. I'm gonna assume, there we go, I got over. I mean, you can start out really simple. If you've got a phone, you can download uh, Epoch Cam, which just I just bought, downloaded that. Just got yeah, by Elgato. I've had it for years. Um, and it works as you hook your phone up to your laptop, or you can do it via uh, if you're on the same Wi-Fi network, and it turns your uh, your mobile phone into 
a webcam, which is brilliant because you can put it on a little stand, you can pick it up and move it around. Mm. That's a really good shout if you don't want to get a expensive webcam. But the Logitech, which one is it? I can never remember. I'm using the Logitech Brio. It's a bit expensive. Uh, and again, was like given to me. So it was a Christmas present. So uh, I probably wouldn't buy it myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, that is expensive. <laughs> yeah. Um, but the one I was going to get myself was like the Logitech C9 22, 20, 22, 20 something. The C920, and then there's like the 21 or 22, yeah, are very 22, similar. Yeah. Yeah, um, like they're great. Uh, there's one thing I will say about camera is upgrade your lighting before your camera. Uh, most cameras are like just just lighting makes such a difference. Like, yeah, your camera might not be bad; it might just be lacking light. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, camera like. Cameras and light, like lighting is what makes an image look crisp and clear uh, and good. Um, uh, yeah. Apparently I'm coming through quiet. So this is where we have to do some okay. tech fiddling to see if we can make it work better. Um, mic auxiliary is up all the way. Setting. There is like, as well as the EpoCam, there is actually a lot of a lot of uh, ways you, oh wow, I went to the other course. There's a lot of things like if you already have, you might already have something that you can use as a, a camera for streaming, especially now, oh, there's so much cool stuff you can do. Um, so if you've got like a camera lying around, uh, like any camera, any camera that can be plugged into a, a HDMI, um, then you can get like a little HDMI capture card. Um, obviously, Elgato do their cam link, uh, which has since been like replicated, and you can get something similar for like a tenner. And so, if you already have like a camera that can plug in to um, a HDMI, you can just plug that in and go, uh, which is just a just another option. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if that's any better, Rob. Oh no, I've just uh, put you full screen. I think. Hang on. <laughs> Hello, <everyone. laughs> it's all about you now. No, it's all about. Oh no, how do we? Hi no, not that one. Um, there we go. Sorry, I took my eye off the golf ball. Oh, that was fine. <laughs> Gave me like a little head start trying to get that one in. Uh, Cage says, I co host a podcast about folklore and anthropology of horror with a friend, and we'd like to play horror games whilst trying to talk through the origins of the monsters or ghosts and stuff. Educa educational and you get to laugh at me being a scaredy cat. Oh my God, that sounds amazing. Um, <laughs> that sounds so cool. That does sound great. Uh, like um, Horror video games or horror board games, role-playing games or the whole kit and caboodle. See that, I don't think you really need Stella fancy pants kit to do that in fact yeah. having something a little bit more low tech will probably fit with the setting a bit more as long yeah. as you can run the game and run the stream yeah i feel like that would totally go with the aesthetics just having like a a bit of a grainy camera maybe a bit bit like dimmer with some like uh like you know, just like spooky, spooky lighting going on to work really well. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, 
why is this so hard to get in the hole? Do it. There we go. Um, and yeah, like having a good mic, or just have, not necessarily good mic, but good audio. Yeah, um, good which... enough audio is key. So thanks, Rob, yeah. for pointing out if I'm a bit quiet. Part of my problem is I do talk quite quietly. I'm quite softly spoken, and I need to put on my hello. This is this is. TV, oh, Robin, yeah. coming at you live through the airwaves with a boom in a voice now. Um, but I go a bit quiet because I'm comfortable and we're having a nice chill stream. See, I'm like very, I'm not loud spoken. I'm loud. No, I'm not loud spoken. I'm, I, I don't know. You're quite gregarious. Yeah, I've, I, like, I used to work in bars, so you kind of like learn to. Yeah. <laughs> I spent a lot, a long time working in bars, and um, you kind of just learn that you have to shout everything. Oh my god, I'm really focusing right now, and just bear with me. Uh, whole kit and caboodle. There are D and D nerds, so tabletop games would be awesome too. Once we're allowed in the same room, yeah, um, you can play some tabletop stuff via tabletop simulator and yeah. stuff like that it's not the same as having it in front of you hey i want to have a go down the pipe of doom what is this why this ball is so like it's not rolling as much What's as it's made of it's quite lumpy it's a heavy oh. ball um that's such a good point. That's my early 2021 goal then. I don't know what the point was, but hooray. Hooray for <laughs> early 2021 goal. We'd love to see uh, your podcast, your uh, show. your. Yeah, that sounds awesome. I'm also a, a scaredy cat. I'm in club scaredy cat. Uh, oh, wow. Now this ball's really light. Oh, um, fuck. That's why it went. <laughs> it did. I recently, you know, it's Halloween. I don't know if anyone noticed that. That happened uh, last month. Um, oh, so I took the... It was such a weird Halloween. <laughs> so weird. Uh, I took that opportunity to play like scary games all all month. Uh, and oh well, I'm gonna try and make a scream compilation. <laughs> so if you need anyone to make sound effects, uh... <laughs> yeah. I mean, I do a very good. I'm hella scared. Scream. Uh, it's like it's like something from a a movie. Yeah, fuck that. Oh, what's the famous scream called? That's you know the Wilhelm scream. Fuck that. Let's get the Tazzy scream going. <laughs> Shane says they have to go, but thank you for the great advice. Have a great evening. Thank you so much for joining us. We yeah. appreciate you, you spent your time here, uh, and hopefully. Uh, the advice that we have given you helps you on your journey. Yeah, I hope so. And as you progress, pop back. Um, we'll be doing this every week with different guests. And maybe, uh, maybe we'll have you all in the future as you uh, tell us about your journey. That'd be exciting, wouldn't it? This, this level is like my life. I just keep rolling back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry that I picked the same set of levels again. That's, that's <laughs> my okay. bad. Oh, um, my God. I, I've got cute bunny ears, so all is forgiven. Um, if you've not gone yet, first person, Shane, um, what one thing would you fix about this stream? Uh, I'd love to know. I'm going to try. Come on, Tazzy. Get that. At least I didn't go down the wrong hole. Oh, there it goes. Uh... uh radio robs suggesting using roll 20 as a good alternative for playing rpgs online or with friends uh also forge as an alternative if you don't like roll 20 oh these balls aren't balls that's why i'm so confused <laughs> 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 Flipping acorns from great things. Oh, yay! Get out of the way. <laughs> no. Hey. <laughs> it is the Wilhelm screen. Thank you, Cage Cuddling. 
once you spot it, it's really annoying. I know it's like an Easter eggy type thing, but it's so overdone. Oh, bloody hell. Punk birdie. I'm going to be like... Oh, that's really kind, first person shade to keep... Uh... Oh, you... <laughs> As for this stream, it might just be because I've discovered it. I discovered overlays on Streamlabs, but they add a nice flair to a stream with colourful graphics and animations. Lovely. Thank you very much. Well, uh, keep watching. And who knows? Tazzy gets to pick the first thing that we fix tonight. And the audience will get to choose something as well. Whoever wins uh, on we'll do some marbles on stream. So a little bit of audience participation. Oh, Tazzy, flinging himself that? into the void. I'm surprised I'm not scrambled because oh, I'm yes. an ex. <gasps> I just done like 15 hits and still went off the course. Oh my God. And again, the this egg is... shape is really not yeah, helpful. This is not <gasps> great. Egg shape. Oh. Well, uh, first person Shane, thanks for spending your time with us this evening. Um, have a great rest of the day. And oh, fucking hell! And that wasn't aimed at you. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I feel like we need a disclaimer. All uh, swearing is it's not aimed at the eggs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I got down it. I got oh, oh yes. I got to avoid the logs. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, fuck. I can see the hole. And I missed the hole. And I ran out of shots. Yeah, I'm going to. I can't even get down the slope. I was so close. I was like this close. I was an egg away. Just an egg's length away. Yeah. I just uh, didn't even make the uh, conveyor belt there. You got forty seconds, thirty now. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, 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 turn it to ice. How many strokes do you have left? I don't know how many did we get. Twelve, I think. So I've got one left. So I'm not going to make it. You never know. You might do some like no, amazing <laughs> trick shot. <laughs> Or not? No. Look how close I was. I don't know if you can see it. Oh no, I don't oh, want to show you. No, sorry. That's it, I think. Oh wait, oh you won. I'm gonna quickly nip to the loo if you don't mind. Okay, let's uh, run a quick ad break because <laughs> I could do with a tinkle as well. We'll be back very shortly, folks. Um, stick with us when there'll be more Twitch fixing, and we're going to be playing Split Second because it's my favourite game. It's one of my favourite games. And I haven't got to play it against anyone in such a long time. I've lost Streamlabs. There it is. So I can... Oh, no. Where's my scenes gone? Bro I've broken it. What have I done? Oh, no. Oh, no. Not that one. That one. We'll be back shortly.
Hello. How's everyone doing? Thanks for bearing with us whilst we went for wheeze. Uh, if anybody's got any more questions about streaming, about growing your stream, about the tech stuff, please do ask. Um, looking forward to seeing yours, Cage Crinolin. And something we might need to talk about is auto mods and having mods on the team. Because you can see there, we've had a, uh, a, a spammer has posted, bum, bum, bum. Want to become famous? Buy followers, primes and viewers at, at this website. So we're just talking about spam in chat because we've had one. Ooh, lovely. Love a good bit of spam. <laughs> a bit of spam. <laughs> spam for her. Mm. <laughs> Ages since I've been the chippy. Um, how do you have your setup? Uh, do you have moderators? Do you have auto mod running? You have um, I have uh my stream bot do a lot of moderating um and then i also have two wonderful mods one more wonderful than the other <laughs> <laughs> i wouldn't usually say that but one of them is my partner so he's the less one <laughs> <laughs> um yeah no i have two really great mods uh i have lord paladin and my partner k2 tom uh, who moderate for me. My bot gets most, like, obvious things, um, but they're there for... Uh, mainly for trolls. <laughs> because I'm very slow uh, and can get trolled easily. <laughs> <laughs> and not realise it. Uh, so, yeah, they generally nip that in the bud before I notice it, which is great. Um, but, you know, sometimes they're not there. They've got lives. Mm. Um, and, and, uh, you know, I, I wish I could pay them, but I can't. <laughs> so the, it's completely voluntary. Um, and yeah, they, they just, they just do it. It's great. I purposely, so obviously I made my partner a mod, uh, cause, um, just my partner and watches my streams. So why not? Um, and then Lord Paladin is just such an amazing supporter and has just been in the stream for so long and just understood my vibe mm. um, and was already, like, kind of putting people in their place and, like, just being really supportive and there for me when I was like, ah, this person's coming and saying stuff and I don't like it. Um so yeah, it was just it naturally just kind of happened. I was like, uh, so uh, I hope you don't mind, but I want to make you a mod. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I don't like I'm like they're, <laughs> they're like I don't like this responsibility, but not in a I'm rejecting this responsibility, uh, but in a like I'm you know you're trusting me with this kind of way. Um, but yeah, no. Uh, lucky enough. Like I don't like to have too much of a moderated space, personally. Um, and I think everyone's different, and it's very dependent on you, your like your stream, the environment you're creating. And I think it's so important to realize that this is your space. The internet is this big wide thing where everyone can use, but your content is your space, and you are allowed to uh, choose how that space should be and what kind of people and attitude you want in that space so if you're like banter in my place in my space it's fine uh, as long as you're being like respectful and you're not overstepping the line and you're not just I'm very like don't just hit people up with banner that have just come in like make sure they're people that know you um and you can banner to me like all you want uh that's fine um but you know like don't be it don't be a dick like yeah. none of that homophobic racist uh transphobic don't be any of the phobics don't be any of the isms uh other than that you know let's just just have fun but then like i go into other people's streams and i completely understand that there you know there's no swearing and that's fine uh it's your space guard your space 
uh, put those walls up. Some days I'm like, I ain't taking no shit. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm telling you now, this is your one and only warning and you shit in my space today. And like, it's just going, it's a, it's a non bad <laughs> day, uh, not in the mood. Um, yeah, like just remember it's your space. People will be like, oh my God, why'd you ban me? I don't deserve to be uh, banned. And it's like, dick, you know what? You just be a dick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? You're allowed to, the, it's your ban hammer. You can use it how you want. Uh, <laughs> and I think that's just so important like it's so important to guard your space uh, and make sure that it's an environment that you feel comfortable in because um, otherwise you're going to not want to stream and that's yeah. horrible uh, so yeah I, we've blocked the spammer they've be gone yeah, that's, that's the worst thing that's happened so far <laughs> that's right um so, having spent a bit of time now uh, on on my stream, having a chat with me, um, Tazzy, it's time to ask you the question. Not, not, mm -hmm. both, I'm not asking you to marry me. <laughs> that would be really unusual when you tell me about your partner. Is, uh, is your, um, is your I mean, partner... there's no ring. Wait, is that the right hand? Which hand is it? <laughs> I don't know, it's how, it's how good I am with this. It'd be it's really memory. unusual, especially because I, I'm a gay man. So <laughs> Match made in heaven. Um, the real question that I need to ask you this evening is, Tazzy, what would you do to fix my Twitch? You need a little theme tune at that point. That <laughs> yeah, a little, like, little jingle. A little logo <laughs> comes in. One day, one day we'll get there. <laughs> Fix my Twitch. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, today I would like to. Uh, oh, it's so hard because there's, so there's much just so to much from right now, isn't there? I mean, it's it's <laughs> painful. I've stripped it right back. There's nothing there. It's it's a weird ghost town of. There's nothing. Help me, help me, Tazzy. You're my only hope. Well, as you do a lot of uh, streams where your camera is the main focus. I feel like that background needs some, some, some ink, either a green screen or tidying up or, you know, like look at my lovely background. We got posters, we got ring fit. Wait, somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it fits in that. <laughs> we got like, an amazing shelf of retro games, consoles, and cool stuff. I've just recently, by the way, I just want to show this off. I know it's about you right now. But... No, no, it's fine. It's good show. I like this is my comic book shelf uh, with just above, just like, you can like the little mini Lego figures. You can just about see it. I want to get a light up there. Um, I got like my Batman mini Lego figures and some comic books, and working on my comic book shelf. So expect to see this comics filled up. Anyway, as you can see, I have something. I also do have a green screen in the corner there that sometimes I put up. So one of those two options would be great. All right, bear, bear, bear with a second, because let's see if we can do that um, on the fly. It's a very fancy. If I turn that off and turn this, this on, I assume you can still hear me. I don't really know what I'm doing. I can still usual. hear you. But... You're just like a floating, floating head. That's, that's my actual form. Ah. That's what I'm like in real life. I'm just a little floating head with a leather crown on. Your true form. Hmm. True form. How's? <laughs> no, choose the right camera. Turn that off again. Turn it off and on again. That one. Let's see if this works. Turn it off and on again. It's thinking about it. <laughs> It's loading. It's, re it's really having a lovely long think. I might have confused it. <laughs> what are you doing to me? Just, just trying to give you a different feed. Um, it's like, how dare you? All right, let's try that off. X split B cam on. It's some sort of issue where V cam doesn't. Oh, oh, no. Well, we could definitely fix this one, <laughs> this one by next episode, but I think I would need to stop the stream, 
which uh, I don't really want to do right now. It's not liking it. It's not liking it at all. Wow. Oh, well. We can fix that. Oh, <laughs> that's the first thing to be fixed. on fix my Twitch. It could have been fixed live, but no. It's not. It's not happening. Tough, tough tits, baits. We'll have to wait till next week. Um, all right, let's sort this camera issue out then. Discord. HD webcam. I think I've really confused all the sources on my uh, on my laptop. All right, given that this is episode one, I'm going to allow you to choose a second thing. I'm putting my two fingers up. It's like it's a two. <laughs> but, um, you can't see that. Cause no, I can't. I'm... Everything. Um, what, if there was a second thing, that you could oh. use, what would it be? There's so much. Do you know what? Um, because it was the second thing I was kind of thinking of, and uh, was it Shane that mentioned it? Uh, feel like I just feel like this is another one where you're not going to be able to do it on the spot. <laughs> um, but some some overlays. Get some overlays going. Some overlays going. Right. So it, this is Epoch yeah. Cam now, because that's oh. That's going to be upside down. Live example. Yeah, live example. So you can use your uh, phone. You can see, oh, confusing. That's the setup. <laughs> uh, some overlays to sex up the 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 stream. What yeah. overlays would you recommend to start with? What do you use? I've got to point at this now. What do, what do you? What do you? My use? my um. So, like I literally use stream elements for everything. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm currently using some some uh some sort of like pre-made overlays from stream elements um that are just on there. But I don't think they're by stream elements, but they're on stream elements, and I think someone else made them for stream elements. Um got what it's called it's called something pink um but then i like slightly customize it but i'm actually my overlays are currently having an overhaul uh, i'm working on making my own custom overlays oh, nice. um yeah i have a list somewhere of all the things i need uh i feel like overlays is this thing where everyone just goes overlays um but there's so many different elements to overlays yeah you've got like your notifications and you've got did you want to put our little faces in a box or stuff, yeah. stuff at the top. Do you want us to put logos in there? Do you want Okay, to... let's let's make you let's make use an overlay for this current screen that you've got up because that would make sense, right? And yeah. that you've got a whole series. Like this is just episode one, so we want the next person to be able to, to have sit. something to choose from. <laughs> <laughs> and to sit like in some some sexiness, right? Yeah. Um sit in sexiness, that's my tagline. <laughs> so uh get some little boxes round round uh round us yeah some some color something you know some sh some oh like bedazzle it <laughs> <laughs> remember when that was a massive thing bedazzle like everything <laughs> um yeah get get some get some borders all right. Borders around the cams. Maybe something to say, I don't know, to celebrate uh, your viewers. Maybe like recent follow count or recent follower or. Uh... All right, that's enough. That's You fixed enough now. Okay, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> this is so much to do. There is so much to do, <laughs> but that's the joy of this. Um, we but we've got to leave something for the other people yeah. and also for the audience or oh, because it's yeah. time i'm i'm stealing all the the the, the things aren't i i think it's like you're stealing my audience <laughs> <It's awesome laughs> yeah. Yeah. so we're gonna have a quick i need to i'm trying to look at the screen with this is quite let's have a that's an awkward angle with the light let me see my gross bed we'll point that, that way <laughs> 
Right, where's Steam disappeared to? Let's have a little marbles on stream. Then everyone can play. Yay! Uh, just need to get that going and find the screen because I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, gaming. I should find it. I forget that. My uh, my camera's a little bit smaller now, so it doesn't quite fit the box. <laughs> That's something to be aware of. All right, it's found the game. It's connected to the chat. We'll do a little a little race. Let's pick twists and turns two. Okay. Whoop, whoop. So fine, folks at home. This is marbles on. Stream. I don't know where the camera is. Stream. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a marble run. It's a marble race. Uh, it's it's very simple. You know where you like run a, run a marble down a course. Uh, it's like that. But everyone in the audience can play by typing exclamation mark play into chat, which I'm going to do. I'm enjoying. Yeah, you might get to pick another thing. Um. This just makes me want to get a marble run, a physical marble run out and like do a giant one. That would be fun. Stream that. Oh, yeah. I'm just like, is there a way I can write people's names on marbles? With a Sharpie. Yeah. I have, I actually have a ton of marbles. You can't see them, but they are on that shelf over there. Uh, uh, now you'll notice this is the only subscriber benefit we have at the moment, Tazzy. Um, mm. You can get the sparkly disco ball as a marble. If oh, you're damn! A subscriber, Cage Crinoline's in. Yeah, you're up for a race. Exclamation mark! Play and chat, and you get your own little marble. Is there anyone else? I don't know if anyone's left. <laughs> <laughs> GM Radio Rob's in. Nice. Yes. He's always up for a game. GM, of course, standing for Game Master. If anyone else is around, so let's see a few people who've just hopped in. Type exclamation mark go. play to be in. With a chance to fix my Twitch. <laughs> Definitely need a little logo <laughs> and theme tune there. Which yeah, you really need a stream deck to uh, appreciate <laughs> every time. A little button to press. To press There's button. another thing to fix. <laughs> I'm not saying that I've already got one somewhere, but <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're going to start this race. It's uh, it's going to be a hot four way. It's room for fifty, <laughs> so, but we're off. Race starts in ten, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And then there's a little delay. And then <laughs> they go. Um, and they're off. Tazzy <laughs> is uh, not quite in first place there. And Coaching for Geeks is now in last place. Up in first, it's Cage Crinoline. But everything is to play for as we circle the gaping purple void <laughs> here. Uh, it's like when you go to uh, a museum and you roll you roll a penny. Oh, oh yeah, roll, down the little... Around the thing that's like this. Oh, no, we're having a little tete-a-tete -tete there. <laughs> oh, okay. What's your fancy ball? I get the sparkly disco ball. And Jim... Oh, Bruno it can't go... First to head down. He's taken quite the lead already there. Who's this sneaking up behind him? It's Coach for Geeks, followed by Tazzy. Cage Crinoline is just meandering along at the back there. That's fine. It's GM Radio Rob is making it over the moguls and down into the second of the gaping voids. And into the... Oh, that looks a bit like a medical diagram. That, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that particular area. Uh, Tazzy's... <laughs> As he's in second place, but GM Radio Rob is into the third of the gaping voids. He's storming into the lead, but Tazzy sneaking up there, Tazzy, as you swirl around the void. Um, 
I don't know where I've leapt up from, but there I am, apparently. Meanwhile, Cage Crinolin slowly puttering away. <laughs> just just enjoying can. the views. Yeah, just having a lovely time heading down those, I don't want to say it, um, fallopian tubes. Uh, <laughs> GM Radio Rob is heading towards... The oh. mixer. Oh no! Oh, oh it could all no! go wrong. The mixer. No, I'm not allowed to win. That's oh. come on, Tazzy. You've got stuck on the mixer as well. GM Radio. I don't want to get stuck on the mixer. Oh, everyone's getting mixed up. No, Tazzy, Tazzy, Cage Crinoline has somehow snuck past you all, taken the alternative route. And oh, boom! Take second place. Meanwhile, GM See, Radio we thought, has got through we the mixer. Just, we thought that was just pouring along, but... As he's got through the mixer and taken third place, bringing up the rear. GM Radio, Rob. Um, uh, yeah, I'm not allowed to win. So. <laughs> <laughs> so that means our second place winner, Cage Crinoline. Crinoline, we've discussed this before. It can be either. You get to choose something to fix my Twitch. <laughs> um, so we'll wait for that in chat. Uh, and I'll have three things to fix by next week's episode. And then it won't be quite as wonky. The wonky is fine, but it's not better than wonky. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, sorry, that- Gian. Sorry, Tazzy. I was just going to say, it's definitely a great starting point because, yes, yeah, you started, right? Mm. It's important to know when streaming, it's like, it doesn't matter what you start with, just start. Yeah, like the, like we were saying earlier to uh, Cage Crinoline, you just got to start. You can figure out everything else along the way. Uh, you can have a crappy background and lighting and no. No fancy emotes and anything like that. Mm-hmm. You, can, you can use your mobile mobile phone as a camera. You don't even need a camera. Uh, you can use. Look at God. Look how tired I am. You can you can use uh, your headset from your mobile phone as mm-hmm. as your headset. You don't even have to have uh your face on stream yeah i've got a friend that's uh currently working towards partner no face cam hardly ever even has a mic i don't i don't know how (laughs) but yeah they're growing more active promo outside of cfg get your butt in insta Oh, I hate Instagram, but sure. We'll start promoting in Instagram. Gotta do it. That's my face. Your Twitch has been fixed. My Twitch has been fixed. Um, well, thank you, Tazzy, for joining me tonight for almost two hours of Twitch fixing. Oh, this wow. Has been, this has been delightful. We'll certainly have you back once... Uh, once once the channel grows, so that more people can bask in the glory. That is Tazzy. Uh, we'd love to have you back maybe Why, you. before Gamepad as well, just so that we can do a little help you promote Gamepad, get more people yeah. in that. Me and Gamepad would very much appreciate that. Uh, <laughs> we um, like to promote. <laughs> so- where can people find you if they've enjoyed your company and would like to spend more time with you? So if you have enjoyed my company, you can find me on my own Twitch channel, which is T-A-Z-Z-I-X. Um, you can also find me on Twitter and Instagram under just at Tazzy um, without the X. And you can also find me on YouTube where I occasionally upload videos. Um, maybe not as much as I want to. <laughs> And you can also find me uh, on Gamepad, um, which would be my Amada on Inst 
on on this one on Twitch, the one we're on, uh, Maya Mada on Twitter and at Maya Mada Tees on Instagram. And they're all the places you can find me. Uh, and then there you'll find like the podcast and everything else that that we do and I do and they do and I do with them. Nice. So it was um, your Twitch channel is Tazzy with an X on the end. Is that correct? Yeah. There we go. Posted in chat. Brilliant. Well, Tazzy, thank you so much for helping me fix my Twitch. It has, uh, as always, a delight to spend time uh, in your company. Uh, so thank, thank you for you. being my very first guest. Uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of your evening. And How let's, do you? let's catch up soon. And we'll write up, I'll do a write up of what's been fixed. And you'll be the first, first entry in my Twitch. Twix, not Twix fixing. Twitch, <laughs> oh, Twitch, Twix. Twix, yeah, please. <laughs> I've had the last one. Sorry, you can have a Freddo. Oh, okay. <laughs> You'll be the first one in my Twitch fixing chronicle. Um, so I believe what's appropriate now is to raid someone. Is that correct? What's the yeah, that is something you can do. Yeah. So, Thank you so much for having me as well. I don't know if I said it, but I'm oh, you're again. so welcome. Uh, love what you do and oh my face has just disappeared again oh well we're tough my face has vanished um i'm back to being a floating head right where's where's the thing gone that does the thing that i'm looking for raid Ooh. channel there we go it's a great big button Pick a live <laughs> channel to raid. Um, Who oh, raiding? It's one of our future guests, Rick Carranza, who is playing Among Us. I know everybody is, but let's let's <laughs> sounds us. <laughs> give him, give him a few people. So thank you. Um, we'll be disappearing in like five seconds. We'll see you next week for more Fix My Twitch. Uh, on Friday, we'll be playing Bug Snacks at some point um, after we've done a live over in Coaching for Geeks. If you've enjoyed this, hit up coachingforgeeks.com. Head them over to the Facebook group for much more stuff and or things. And apparently keep an eye on my Instagram because... Uh, that's what I've got to fix next. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Oh, I'm waving. You can't see me. Never mind. I'll wave for the both of us. <laughs> <laughs>